Hello YouTube. Playing in my uh, what vibes with my T34 to be my favourite tank. This tank is no, no, you don't see any of these. Nobody plays in these tanks. The AT15A. Don't see them anywhere. And I suppose you can't blame people. It's extremely heavy. It's a British tank. It's extremely heavy. Very slow. As you can see, I'm crossing the railway line here now. This this must be a favourite place to snipe from the other side because they'll know everyone's crossing the railway. The trouble is that everyone else will have got across the railway before before the uh, the opposition had a chance to get in position, but not the old AT15A. No, oh no, it trods down the well-trodden paths, but and after everyone else, so it's fair game. But having said that, it's pretty indestructible. Uh, we're in a match-up. Um, we're in Serene Coast, and uh, it's not—it's one of the top tanks here, that mostly level seven. So I'm pretty optimistic. You can see I've got four premium shells. And I tend to load the premium shells first. You can afford to uh, loose off about four shells, and. Uh, and, and still win with a decent amount of profit. Now I've got a, a good roll on that, 400 points, and uh, that tank brewed up, so that's one out of the way. That's another one out of the way. So I seem to have found a pretty good spot here. You see I've got the camouflage on. Not that it matters when you're fighting this much anyway, because obviously the camouflage um, is, is you know, no use to you. I'm doing well here. I've got a couple of tanks. I've got the extended binocular uh, viewfinders on, so range finders, and look, they're they're just piling into. Uh, that was a bit of a miss. But unfortunately, this other guy has decided to come and park right in the middle of where we can. And then there's another one. So they've all gone west. And thanks to the. Uh, now I didn't like the sound of that thump. Because that sounds like someone's got my range. I'm starting to get smacked now. So I'm going to back out a bit. But, uh, so I'm a bit addicted to to the amount of damage I'm doing here. So I'm, and once again I'm just a, oh, and I'm being sniped out from the left. So fortunately he stops and presents his lower armour. So we have a go at him. So that's not. Well, we're on three so far. There's nobody around, and I'm still getting hammered. So I don't know where these um, these shots are coming from. But fortunately, they haven't done too much damage to the old armour, and the track's getting repaired. I don't usually use the repair kit on this. Let's go. You see, I'm panicking. <laughs> I'll take this tree out when I back up. <laughs> so what to do? Well, I mean, obviously we can go over to the right. There's one over to the right. It's on 11 percent. But there are still more in front of me, so um, uh, and this is a Churchill. Wow, George, George Churchill, poor old guy. They're just they're hopeless. The tracks, uh, he's on fire. The tracks in a Churchill are just disaster. You, can, you get tracked straight away, and then as soon as you're tracked, then you've had it because people just keep piling shells into in the in the way that we are with this guy. That's the end of him. So I'm joint top of the leaderboard here with three, which is unusual for me. Normally I work on the basis if I get one I've done my job. If I get one and everyone else gets one, then then it's a pretty close match. Now that there's a guy here Petros and he's in the KV-1 and um, I'm putting shells in him and nothing's happening so I thought right well we're a bit of an impasse here so I'm going to back out. Fortunately as you can see on the mini-map he's absolutely surrounded so I can afford to back out and wait for other people to do the damage and sure enough they've, um, they've hold him. So that's it. I mean, it's 13-8 now, so we've got two more.
tanks to get now the 80 80 15a you know it's a heavy tank so it would be good for ramming if you could ever get near anyone but unfortunately typically this is where you end up you end up way behind the um the battle and uh tootling along with no chance of getting in the cap so i thought i'd give the old driver a bit of fun and go down <laughs> basically i'm just trying to get you can see that there's two enemy there. there's absolutely no chance at all of me getting a shot off on one of them so i'm i'm pretty well out of the game at this rate oh well so what We've won. We've lost contact with one and we've blown another one up. So there's an outside chance I might get to snipe the last one, but only if he literally, if he runs straight into my arm. So, and he's not going to. So that uh, Panzer is, uh, even the Panzer's going past me and he's artillery. At this point it just becomes a big race, just everybody just piles into the flag. There we are, look, I can see him. There's the other side of a mountain. He's being chased around the mountain. <laughs> this is what I mean about him possibly coming coming straight towards me because he's he's running and uh, he may well run around the mountain, but there, there are far too many people over him to... Uh, any Anyway, I think my next uh, video will be a flying video. So, um, I hope you enjoyed those. These two videos are sort of proof of concept, really. They're just to test out the audio and uh, the uh, video recording and everything. So, I'm going to try, try and do a few um, FS videos because that's my uh, sort of uh, area of expertise and you don't really want to watch YouTube, do you, to see someone do... I mean, what do you watch? Is you want to watch people who are outstanding at what they're doing. So... Um, you have to do play to your strengths, I think, on YouTube. And well, the tanks obviously not one of my strengths, but we'll soon move on to uh, something that is. So, anyway, do um, if you're into simulations, if you like uh, uh, flight sims and everything, do recommend the channel to your friends and like it and all that usual stuff. And uh, I'll see you next time.